In 1684, King Charles II revoked Massachusetts Bay's charter to punish the colonists, who had continued to trade with other countries despite British restrictions. Charles died a year later, but his brother, James II, was determined to exert even greater control over the colonists. James II was a person who believed in efficiency and bureaucracy. And he looked at the colonies as they were then, and there were all these different colonies. Everyone had a slightly different system of government, and he created this mega colony. In 1686, King James II combined the northern colonies into the Dominion of New England. He abolished representative assemblies and bolstered the influence of the Anglican Church. He took away the charters of New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and said that they would all be part of this one colony whose government was going to be in Boston. And he took the governor of New York, Edwin Andros, and sent him up to Boston to head up this new government. Edmund Andros' stern enforcement of the Navigation Acts and his scorn for colonist claims to the so-called rights of Englishmen, rights to representation, personal liberties, and owning property, made him extremely unpopular. The Puritan residents of Massachusetts especially resented his attempts to bolster the influence of the Anglican Church. Three years after he came to the throne, James II was expelled by the English in 1688 in what they called the Glorious Revolution. And it, when, when people in Boston heard about the Glorious Revolution, they rose up and uh, ousted Andros. Chased by an angry mob, Andros tried to escape the city disguised as a woman. He was recognized though, arrested, imprisoned, and eventually sent back to England. The new English monarchs, William and Mary, re-established colonial boundaries and revived their representative assemblies. But the crown also significantly increased its authority in America by revoking the colony's independent charters and by appointing new governors. 